Hi, I am here from Korea. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can download Elementor Pro for free in WordPress. If you do not know, Elementor Pro is one of the best plugin or site builder for WordPress. If you want to create a cool looking professional website in your WordPress, then Elementor Pro is one of the best. Elementor is one of the free base filter in WordPress. You can get it for free, but some of the features are restricted for paid users only. Before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed our channel and press the bell icon, please subscribe our channel. I always create the video on how you can download the premium themes and plugins for free in WordPress for creating professional website in WordPress. Please like this video and share this video. So let's get started. So I'll give you the link in the description for this file in the description. Before starting this video, I'm going to tell you how you can download the file from the description. Just as you can see, this is the very just click on the show more to view the description and expand it. And here you can see this is the link. Just click on this link, and here as you can see, this link is opening. This is the short link. Sorry for that, but it will help me to grow my YouTube channel and to just make the video like so. When you go to this page, you'll get this link. Click here to continue button. So here are lots of other buttons also like downloads and downloads. Just uh, when it comes, just click on that and when it directs to another tab just close that do not click on other link so that's just a fake link so this is the real link and just click on the I'm not a robot and solve the capture and when the capture is solved then you should click on this verify so when it's at verify don't click on the continue below link just click on the continue that is this and then it will be redirected to the next page when it goes to another tab just close that tab because that tab is fake and the real tab is this tab so here is also some fake links so this is the link that you can see get link all those are fake so just a circular border link with the get link button and white inside the real link and other are all the fake link when you click on that link and then you will be redirected to the stripe page and you can download your themes or plugins and when you get this file just right click this file and just click on extract to elementor pro by Kotlin and just when it is extracted you'll get this zip 2g file one is elementor zip one is elementor pro dot zip so i have already installed elementor in my website so it is telling me gopro so I'm going to install Elementor Pro in my website. Show upload plugin and I'm going to drag and drop this plugin. So before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed our channel and press the bell icon, please subscribe our channel. I always create the video on how you can download the premium themes and plugins for free in WordPress for creating professional website in WordPress. Please like this video and share this video. So now as you can see Elementor Pro is now installed. Now there is no GoPro option means it is installed. So you can update it also but so if you are having any error then you can obviously de-upgrade it because it may not work if you upgrade. But you can just try whether it works or not. So I'm going to add a new page to show you the demo. So here I'm going to add a new page here as you can see. So I'm going to just give the title home and publish. And when it is published, as you can see now it is publishing. So I'm going to just view the page. And here I'm going to click on edit with Elementor to edit this page with Elementor. So this is the page. So let me do one thing here. So I forgot to disable the sidebar and I'm going to full width. And disable this. And update. Now I'm going to delete the Elementor. Now I can refresh it. So now this uh, sidebar at the right is disappear. As you can see, now the Elementor is opening right now. So you can also use the dark theme of the Elementor if you want. To turn on the dark theme, just click here and just click on preferences and just click on auto detect or dark. If you have auto detect, then it will depend upon your OS. So I am having light theme right now. So it is auto detect so it will auto detect your system so you can also do like dark so i'm going to just 
do auto detect and here let me show you whether the pro themes are unlocked or not so here as you can see all the pro things are unlocked so i can just put posts so here as you can see this is the first i can just put the post wow it's looking nice when i update it so let me show you whether it is working or not so now let me refresh here so now wow it is working right now so when i click on this so i will go to this post so wow it looks amazing so i'm going to add a few more other here like click and plus and i'm going to just add like you can also add portfolio here but this here you can see portfolio of all your so it looks amazing and you can go to style and item overlay and when you click on background color you can obviously change this background color so i prefer i like uh, this color okay this color and to be honest i'll make it white so you can obviously a yeah, little bit make transparent to make it more realistic so here are also a little bit transparent to make it more realistic that you want so now it is transparent here as you can see this is the portfolio so here in the content here you can see here is the columns so here in the content as you can see here is the columns so i can just make it six columns and I can make it you can do whatever you like an image size like for large to make large means full clear so it may affect your website performance or slow loading so be careful for that also and you can also turn on the masonry means it will be like if the size is different then it will be masonry you will see the effect so I don't want to be that and you can obviously show or hide the title that you can are seen here right now i want to show the title and in the query you can just so from which you want to just choose the so i'm not going to do that you can obviously add the filter bar to make it more attractive but it may more likely to decrease like it's not a portfolio so you can add if you want so let me add it just and here is the form so form is also one of the good part of the elementor pro so i'm just going to add it into the two side because it, lo it is looking weird and the and now as you can see this is and here as you can see you can add the new form also new item and you can obviously choose the input size and you can require mask means when it is required it will show this asterisk shine and you can also make it required or on required like masses i'm going to put the message required and when you click on the submit button you can obviously add you can just here is this site you need to choose medium or extra small okay extra small call mute you can just make it default and alignment if you want to just have small so i'm going to just add justify and you can obviously add the uh, icons like here you can see this is the like and you can after and I can spacing also you can do and if you, obviously if you know HTML and CSS you can obviously add the button ID also and here is the action after submit so here I want to put email means this is the email form and to email I want to send to this my email and you can just obviously change it whether we want or not so I'm not going to do with this now so here are lots of other also like slides so it is also one of the good feature in Elementor Pro you can add this slide so if you are having the website in one to create a professional looking uh, call to action with slider then you can obviously add so I'm not going to go too much detailing of that okay so here are other also like countdown i like it a lot of. so countdown is one of the best uh, in the elementor so here is the countdown so obviously you can just click on this countdown and it, you can obviously have evergreen timer or due date so i i will choose the due date and you can obviously add custom levels if you want from turning on and off 
so i do not want to use it but if you want to like you want to have in your website like you you want to do live streaming in your website or after this time and you want to post any things after this time then you can obviously add a timer so i'm going to delete this so i'm going to just uh, one add another so this is price table so let me put it here price table is also one of the good if you want to use the woocommerce in your website like right if you want to press price table in your wordpress site like if you have any wordpress site you paid membership or anything that you can you can obviously edit a lot and you can just do a lot with this and let me see whether there is other so you can also edit the menus and footer i know that you can also edit the footer in the free version but all of these things are not available in the free version so for that i'm going to just click on templates and add so if you are having the Elementor Pro, they can, then you can edit lots of things in your website. So I'm going to just add one pop-up. Pop-up, I like it very much. And name it pop-up. And create template. So here, as you can see, this is the page. It's look amazing. This is the portfolio. And here, as you can see, likes. Wow, it looks amazing. Here, as you can see, this is. So you can just obviously click here. And add the pop up that you want when you click on insert it will say you to connect to the library I'm offline so do not worry you it is a free account it means your Gmail and whether it when it is connected you can download these templates so if you are having problem then uh, you can de upgrade your Elementor means Elementor not Elementor Pro so if you have upgraded the Elementor Pro then you can also try de upgrading the Elementor Pro it may not work or work so I'm going to just add one just type like login form in the pop-ups so I'm just going to add a title in my website installing it to the center and I'm going to just type sign in to continue and I can obviously change its style I do not like its style like I want to make it black in the typography I'm going to choose poppins and I'm going to just leave it to the size and little bit less bold, bold okay. and you can obviously transform like uppercase so I'm going to uppercase and style you can obviously change normal like click or oblique you can obviously change if you want and you can style this like button you can style this button like background color if you want like changing the background color you can obviously do that and you can just change this uh, make it center and here you can input size medium i'm going to just put medium and in the addition option you can also just go to redirect after drop down and a lot and when i click on publish it will show me the condition so when i click on add condition i can include or exclude i'm going to include entire site mm into a site and next and on page load on screen you can just click on that on whether you want after i want to have after 2.2 seconds just an advanced rule you can just uh, click on all of it if you want i for log and logged in user a lot and so so you can do lots of here so when i refresh now I'll see this pop up. So now, as you can see, it is telling me to sign in to continue. So I have already signed in, so it is telling me this. So otherwise, that form will be shown. So I should have add the condition so that the do not show when the user is signed off. So hopefully, if you like the video, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. And if you want to get free themes and plugins like this then obviously subscribe our channel and share this video and like this video so I need a lot of support from you so stay tuned goodbye